Hi, Josh here with the St. Louis Science Center, and this week we're going to do things a little different. Instead of showing you a formal experiment, I'm going to show you how I made an experiment out of a question that I had. So my question is, which fruit fly trap will work the best? Because here at Science Off Center, we have a problem. We have this great uh, worm farm that we have a whole bunch of rotting fruit in. Well, in the same worm farm, those fruit flies get in there and infest it. And there's hundreds of them everywhere. It's apple cider vinegar with two drops of just dish soap. So the vinegar will attract the fruit flies and then the soap will hopefully allow them to sink to the bottom and not get out. The second trap uses apple cider vinegar to attract fruit flies, but this time it's going to use a plastic bag to trap them. So what you do with your plastic bag is you take it and you cut along the side And then you're going to wrap it over the top, and you're going to rubber band it on. So the rubber band doesn't have to be super tight, but at least tight enough for the fruit flies to not be able to escape. And then just take your scissors and poke some holes into it. So it turns out, fruit flies, they're not very smart. So they're smart enough to find their way in because of the smell. But they're probably not smart enough to find their way out. So we're going to test that out. Now I had another question. These recipes call for apple cider vinegar. Would regular vinegar work? So I used the exact same recipe, except this time I used white vinegar. Remember this one has soap. And I had another idea. So if this plastic bag would trap the fruit flies, all we have to do is attract them, right? Well, rotting fruit works really well. So I grabbed some rotting fruit, and I put that in a cup, and I put the plastic bag on top of that. So I'm going to take all five of these, set them right next to the worm farm where there's the most fruit flies, and after a week's time, we're going to see how many fruit flies I caught. All right, it's been a week, so let's take a closer look at our cups. All right, so the first experiment remember was the apple cider vinegar and soap. And you can see down there all those little black dots are fruit flies, or were fruit flies. So then let's compare that to our white vinegar. So remember this was white vinegar plus the uh, dish soap. Now you can see both of them were pretty good, but the apple cider vinegar was definitely better. So let's check out our other trap. So this one, remember, was just apple cider vinegar with a bag on top with holes in it. And you can see we did pretty well there, too. On the top here, there's a bunch of fruit flies that never made it out. And then here's our white vinegar version. That one did not do so well. I can only see maybe two fruit flies in there. So last but not least, remember, this was my own concoction. And let's see how this one did. Oh my gosh, that is disgusting. There are hundreds and hundreds of fruit flies in there. That is gross. But you can see at the top here, there's actually larva on the fruit flies. So they're actually breeding in there. Huh, that's unexpected. Okay, so based on, on the results from our experiment, I think that we can safely say that yes, you do need to use the apple cider vinegar because in both cases, there were more flies than that one. But overall, my concoction was the most effective uh, fruit fly trap. So try this at home or come up with other questions that you can test and let us know at scienceoffcenter.org.